Hi, so this here is my Mulstera Elbow Varigata. She's my pride and joy. I got her as a cutting with this leaf and this broken leaf. And for me, she grew first this tiny little leaf, then this bigger leaf, then suddenly she decided to actually give me a leaf with holes, which was an amazing moment. And now finally here is another new leaf. Now I'm way too scared <laughs> to actually try and take a cutting out of this, but I really would like this to be more than one cutting. So we're gonna try the air layering method on this piece over here. Now, I've never tried this before, so it's going to be new for me too. Apparently, it helps to make a small cut on a note that you're air layering. So I'm going to be using sphagnum moss, which I just dampened and then wrung out. I might have just squeezed out a bit too much water, but we'll see. Some rope to maybe keep it in place if the saran wrap itself is not enough. Some scissors and a clean knife to make a tiny cut here, which I'm so scared of. Oh good god. Okay, I made my cut. That was scary. I'm gonna prepare a piece of saran wrap. What I basically want is just to wrap this around where I want my roots to grow or start growing. So my main goal here is to get the moss to touch the stem, obviously, so... But I'm not wrapping super tight because I also don't want to completely cut off airflow. I do want the moss to be able to stay humid though. So it's a bit of a balance. Tying it off the bottom, keep it against the stem, hopefully. Okay guys, so it's been only, I think, nine days, or like a week and a half, and it's grown quite a root. I honestly God, wasn't really expecting this because I haven't had much luck with variegated mulceras so far. So this is apparently my lucky plan. I'm gonna very carefully tie, uh, undo my ties. I honestly God, thought I would have more than enough moss, but as you can see, the tip of the root is already peeking at the top of the moss. So, honestly, I almost want to cut it, but I'm first gonna carefully take this off and check how it really looks. So yeah, let's do it. So what I gotta do now is decide if I want to have this grow more or be like, fuck it, or I'm gonna put it in the earth. And honestly, I think I'm gonna put it under in the earth, which means I'm gonna have to cut it right here. Oh God. 
I really should get a sharper knife. Ah. This is how the end of this stem looks. It's been six weeks since we've last seen each other. Oh, how I've missed you. Oh, well, let's grab it. Here she is. So, as you can see, she hasn't died. That's, that's the most important part, right? Now, the new leaf, which is this one, is still looking good after six weeks, which I figured if it would die, it would have done so by now, right? So, while it hasn't grown yet above ground, I'm assuming it has grown underground, like roots. So that's a good thing, and I'll just let it do a thing and leave it alone as long as it doesn't start dying on me. Now, the main stem, however, has grown this. It popped up about a month after I cut the previous cutting off. Um, and now after six weeks, you can see it's become a real new stem. I was honestly a bit surprised by where it popped up because it popped up right above the node still. As you can see, if my camera was focused for me, But you don't hear me complaining, because when I originally got this cutting with two leaves on it, or like a leaf and a half, it took six months for it to establish itself and start growing um, a similar node to this. So this in six weeks is way better than the six months I kind of expected it to take again. So yeah, that's really great. And that means my main plant can continue growing pretty quickly even still this growing season. So that makes me really, really happy. Overall, I think it's looking good. Like I said, new growth on the original stem. This one hasn't shown any new growth, but I feel like it's growing roots, which <laughs> I may have taken it off a bit quickly. I may have gotten a bit impatient and taken it off after a week was. And everything I did, but yeah. It turned out okay, thank the lord. All in all, I'm really happy with how this whole experiment turned out. I really enjoyed it. I didn't have to worry about my cutting or like my whole plant dying while I was doing this. Um, and it grew so quickly, way quicker than expected. The root was there in a week and I don't think I've ever had that much root growth on any cutting that I've ever done. So that was amazing, and I'm definitely gonna try this again. So yeah, let me know. Do you have any rare plants that you like to propagate but are too scared? And if you're not too scared, what do you use to propagate your plants that are very close to your heart? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye! While I was trying to pro... pro Huh? <sighs>